My name is Leonardo Faundes. I am the lead instructor in the uh, Diagnostic Medical Sonography program. I'm originally from Chile. I've been in Canada for more than 30 years. And uh, I have been a Canadian registered uh, sonographer for more than 20 years. Um, I had the uh, opportunity to work at some large uh, centers in Toronto, such as the Toronto General Hospital, Toronto Western Hospital, Mount Sinai, and I had the privilege too to work with uh, some world-renowned radiologists for some time. And it was actually at that time when I started teaching as well, uh, looking after the students who um, were doing their practicum at those hospitals. And that's where the uh, passion for education for teaching started. So after that, I moved on to teach for about 10 years at the Michener Institute in the ultrasound program. Uh, during that time, I also completed my master's degree in education in 2013. Um, and then after that, again, looking after the education piece, I um, started my continuing education company. It's called Apprendi Canada and uh, that's where I offer uh, continuing education to sonographers. My name is John Lai. I was drawn to the medical imaging field early on in my career where I was trained as a sonographer at Mohawk College. After graduation, I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to work alongside with some amazing sonographers and radiologists in large teaching hospitals in the greater Toronto area. I completed a long tenure at a multi-site hospital where I served a 10-year term as a clinical manager in the Diagnostic Imaging Department before joining Anderson College. When it comes to sonography, I feel most passionate about caring for people. The care that we provide requires continuous interaction with patients, and that can be an immensely rewarding experience, and is what keeps me in this field. When it comes to sonography, I'm very passionate about the investigative role that we have in, or in terms of finding out what's wrong with this patient that comes into us with symptoms. And I'm also passionate about making sure that the patient receives a, a proper experience, a pleasant experience during the test. And another passion within sonography is the teaching, the education aspect. It's great to see uh, students going from the beginning when they don't even know how to hold the probe to all the way to working for a company or starting to work uh, or even branching off into other areas within ultrasound. There are many modalities such as x-rays, nuclear medicine, CT and MRI within the field of diagnostic imaging. The reason I chose sonography as my career path is that I'm creative, I love to be challenged, and I'm very meticulous. A great sonographer is one that is detail-oriented because doctors depend on our findings to make their impressions. Each image that we take tell a story. You must be an artist in a way and understand that painting the wrong picture can have devastating outcomes for a patient. It's an exciting field because since I started working in, the, in this field, there's been so many changes. And with the advancement in technologies, um, then we are able to look at the same things that we have been looking at in terms of the body areas, but now in more detail and with a higher resolution. So as the technology improves, you know, more doors open in terms of being able to see those areas better. And not only that, but we're able to start seeing areas of the body that we hadn't seen before with ultrasound and now we're able to scan them. The future of sonography is very exciting. There are new technologies such as 4D imaging, artificial intelligence, and wireless ultrasound. These are just some examples that are driving the ultrasound industry forward. New users of this technology keeps trending up. We're seeing a market increase in ultrasound in the areas such as orthopedics, rheumatology, and sports medicine. So the Diagnostic Medical Sonography program here at Anderson College is about two years long. Um, there is a didactic portion where the students will learn to the theory of uh, the different contents that they need to learn, and they will also be able to apply it in the labs. So the didactic portion um, comprises the classroom and the lab environment. And then after the didactic component, they will spend about um, 
16 weeks in each of the two practicums and they will spend it in either a clinic or a hospital learning with real patients, uh, basically applying what they learn during the didactic portion uh, and uh, sort of to complete their ultrasound education. We have not only ultrasound equipment but also simulators and so there are certain things that it is difficult for a student to practice on a real patient. For example, uh, pregnancy, during pregnancy, it is, it is a little difficult to get um, a, a real patient so that students can scan them. So instead what we do is we get these simulators, they're called simulators, where they get to scan a mannequin and they get to see the ultrasound um, image um, on, on the screen. They can practice uh, measuring the fetus, uh, seeing how the, the fetus moves, etc. And, um, and so that also creates um, more of a transition between not knowing to the real thing. So there is that simulation part in the middle. Um, the other thing I want to share with all of you about the DMS program is that we have instructors that have uh, been trained in Canada and therefore know the Canadian system. Uh, they have worked at large centers and they also have um, teaching experience either at the clinical level, so practicum, or in, um, a theoretical uh, teaching as well. In this program, there are 21 courses. Students will learn about human anatomy, ultrasound physics, sonography of the abdomen, female and male pelvis, developing fetus, vascular and superficial structures, among others. They'll also learn about patient care and communication, and about the Canadian healthcare system. In order to join the program, there are specific requirements which can be found on the Anderson College Diagnostic Medical Sonographer page. But in general terms, high school students, university students, healthcare professionals looking for a career change, or international trained students can also apply. Some of the particular skills that we're looking for are people with inquisitive minds, compassionate, they're good collaborators, good communicators, they have good hand-eye coordination, and they pay attention to detail. They're also very professional and ethical. Uh, in terms of uh, where uh, students can work, when, where graduates can work, they are, most sonographers end up working in, in clinicals, so clinics or hospitals, but there are also other opportunities. So for example, you can work as an application specialist or a sales specialist for a, uh, a company that manufactures ultrasound equipment. Um, you can also do teaching, right, either at the clinical level or at a school level. You can also uh, become a traveling sonographer. It's becoming actually quite popular nowadays in the States and also here in Canada in that you have your truck, you have a, a portable machine, and off you go to a different location to perform uh, ultrasound exams. And then you transfer all those uh, images you know, to the radiologist who will be reading them. You can also work abroad. Some, some of the people that I know they have gone to work to New Zealand, or to Australia, or, or to the UK. There are many job opportunities in the field of diagnostic medical imaging. Just as an example, currently there are over 250 jobs across Canada being posted on, on the Indeed website. Most sonographers will work in hospitals or clinics, but there are other opportunities as well, such as working for equipment manufacturers in applications or in sales. There are many jobs in teaching and working abroad. There are also jobs with professional governance associations and in the field of research. A word of advice for future students is um, this is an intense program and I don't mean to scare you, I mean to be realistic. So you need to be organized um, and you need to be eager to learn the information, but trust me, it's a very rewarding um, profession. Um, and the, the other great thing is that you're getting into a, a field that um, has so many branches. 
and some of those branches haven't even started. So it's kind of exciting to know that you could be doing so many things once you graduate.